Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this wireframe background. First, go to View and make sure the Smart Guides are turned on. Let's set the fill to None and leave the stroke black. Next, open the Stroke panel and be sure the stroke is aligned to the center. Now I will demonstrate the basic technique we will be using. Let's draw a square. Next, go to Effect, Distort and Transform and choose Transform. Here we have an option of scaling the object proportionally by keeping the chain link enabled. Or we can disable it to scale either horizontally or vertically. Let's set both values to about 88%. We also have an option to move our object horizontally or vertically. Let's leave both values at zero. We can also rotate it left or right. The key is to ensure that the corners of our new shape align precisely with the path of the original shape. And finally, we need to increase the number of copies to create a desired effect. To go back and make any adjustments, open the Appearance panel, click on Transform, and now adjust the scale, move angle or number of copies. Let's delete everything and start creating our background. First, draw a rectangle the size of your artboard. Click away to deselect. Next, select the pen tool and create a line from one corner to the other. Let's make another line from this corner to this one. Now, with the Smart Guides enabled, click on this intersection, then this one, now over here, down below, and on the starting point. Our next step is to create separate shapes. To do this, select everything, and then go to Pathfinder and choose Divide. Notice that all the shapes are grouped together. To ungroup them, go to Object and select Ungroup. At this point, we have the option to select each shape individually. Now we are ready to apply the wireframe effect. Let's select this triangle first. Now go to Effect, Distort and Transform, Transform, disable the chain link and apply these values. 88% for the horizontal scale value, 90% for the vertical scale value, negative 7 for the horizontal and vertical move values. Set the angle to 4 degrees. Be sure the corners are aligned and let's increase the copies to about 70. Next, we will apply the same effect to the bottom triangle. First, select it. Now go to Effect and choose Apply Transform to use the previous settings. Now we will repeat this process with the other shapes. Let's select the top triangle and like we did previously go to Effect, Distort and Transform, Transform and apply these values. Select the second top triangle and apply the same effect. Let's select this triangle, go to Effect, Distort and Transform, Transform and apply these values. Select this triangle and apply the same effect. Let's select the bottom triangle, go to Effect, Distort and Transform, Transform 
and apply these values. Now we use the same settings for the bottom right triangle. Let's select the top rhombus shape, open the transform effect panel and apply these values. Select the bottom shape and apply the same effect. Finally, select this shape, open the transform effect panel and apply these values. Select the last shape and apply the same effect. If you wish, select everything and adjust the stroke weight or color. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.